Well, obviously very disappointed right now uh, to have an opportunity to go to the playoffs at home um, and not being able to get it done and, uh, in, that, in that fashion is extremely disappointed. Um, uh, you know, I, I do commend our locker room and, and the guys for their, their ability to overcome adversity throughout the course of the season. But I think ultimately we dug ourselves in too big of a hole. And then and the margin for error in this league is so small. And if you don't capitalize on opportunities and you make mistakes, then you're going to lose, especially against quality football teams. you got to give Detroit a ton of credit. They came in here and um, they beat us tonight. So um, certainly, like I said, extremely disappointed. But uh, we got to, it's going to be a big offseason for us, obviously, to, to make sure that we uh, all improve. And we all got to look inward and, and figure out what it is we got to do to get better because I know the expectations here are, are very high and they should be. And uh, just really disappointed right now. You had a lot going for you down the stretch here. What, what do you think happened tonight to bring that to an end? I just, uh, you know, didn't take advantage of opportunities um, to be able to move the ball in the first half and have nine points or whatever it was. And, you know, um, Basically had two turnovers. Um, you know, the fourth down we didn't convert and um, put our defense in a, a really tough situation right there. And they were able to hold them to three and then also had a fumble. And um, you can't do those types of things in, in this type of game. Matt Aaron's interceptions had been so low um, the previous three years. Why do you think they spiked this year? And what did you see on the ones tonight? Yeah, I don't know. I got to go back and look at it. Um, certainly, uh, you know, look at some of the things that we're trying to do. I know the last one there. I think we busted a protection. Um, you know, uh, he had a guy right in his face, and I think he was trying to give Christian a, a shot at it. And they came down with the pick. Is it a given in your mind? that he's back with you next year? Do you guys have a lot of thinking to do there? Oh, I think that's, that's uh, yeah, I mean, in my mind, absolutely. But I think ultimately he's going to, you know, decide that. There was lots of composure at times. Douglas had a personal foul at the end of the first half, poised situation toward the end of the game. What do you think was, was there, were they feeling a little more pressure? What do you think was kind of causing some of those breakdowns there? I, I don't know, but uh, we, we <laughs> That is unacceptable. I've got a much higher standard for our, our players than to do silly things like that. I mean, we've had a guy get ejected twice. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen that in my career. And we got to be much more mentally tough. Um, anytime our guys commit personal fouls, I take that very personally because I think that's always a reflection of myself and the standards that we set for these these players and um, you know we got to be better and we got to learn from that because that is unacceptable yeah, why go for it in your own territory so early in the game this is being a high scoring game is that what you're thinking oh it's fourth and a half yard I think uh, it, not that we ever rely on analytics but if you look at anything they're going to tell you to go for it in that situation we thought we had a look obviously didn't they played the heck out of the play and we ended up uh, ended up costing us on on air this might sound like a preposterous question but are you convinced that he's the guy to get you back where you want to be he didn't have the best year he's come up short in the 49ers last year in, in this game. yeah I, I look at everything year to year so um Certainly, I think there was a lot of growing pains that took place throughout the course of the season, and I thought we improved and got better, and I thought the rapport with everybody got better. Um, you know, we all have this, this vision of, I mean, you're talking about one of the best to ever do it, and we all have this vision of what it's supposed to look like each and every week. Um, and I think anytime you got to, some young players or you got new players or there's some transition like it, it does take time and um, certainly we got to ultimately what I got to do what our staff has to do is we got to do a better job for our guys put them in a better position so that that learning curve is expedited and that we 
we can maintain that high level of play that we're so accustomed to seeing from him. I, I guess I, I understand that part of it. This is, you guys have been at it for what, six months as a search training camp? I mean, that seems like it's a lot of time to get some of those new guy things sorted out. No, I think any time that you have that, when you have young players, it's, it, it's a little bit of a roller coaster, and there's a lot of learning involved along the way. Um, and that's just, you know, you can call it what you want to call it, but that's reality. I mean, you see it throughout the course, uh, throughout many teams throughout the league. I know in my past experiences, anywhere I've been, it, there is a transition there. So, Matt, are you saying you've not seen any drop off in this play this season? Listen, I think every every year is a little bit different in regards to um, there. Were, there was plenty of mistakes. I think many times, and I've said this throughout the, my tenure here, the quarterback's going to take the brunt of the blame when you when you don't have success, and a lot of the other time when you do have success, they're going to get too much of, of that praise. It takes everybody on that field, and ultimately. You know, all 11 that were out there throughout the course of the season, um, and then our, our staff, I think we got to do all collectively got to do a better job, period. Matt, it feels like this is annual that you're standing here answering, answering questions about do you expect Aaron to be back? This feels like something you go through every year now. Are you this year, right now, any more confident, less confident than you have been in years past in the same situation? Does anything happen this year to lead you to believe it'll be one way or the other? No, there's nothing that would that I can sit here and tell you right now uh, definitively that how I feel in terms of what the future holds. Matt, with the way Christian came on kind of later in the season, does that validate or vindicate your guys' decision to not make any moves um, to, by adding any receivers to that room? And do you think that this is what it is going forward? No, I, yeah, I, I thought we felt confident with our, our receiving room. Uh, with our receiving core, not only Christian, but Rome. There were a lot of great moments with him. Obviously, Allen's been a steady veteran for us. Uh, Randall, um, I think Samori is a guy, a young guy that's come on and shown flashes. Uh, so I thought we felt ultimately, collectively, that that group, we felt pretty comfortable with where we were. You've run the ball well all season. What went wrong tonight? We didn't block movement very well. Matt, when you talk about um, Aaron being one of the best to ever do it, does that in any way complicate the evaluation process that you make on each player each year, each offseason? No, I don't think so. First and goal at the five, you've had some trouble with the first and goals. What did you, you think uh, went wrong down there? We didn't block very well. We tried two runs and got, like, I think a yard apiece, maybe. Uh, that puts you in a tough tough spot. The third down was well covered. Um, you know, you sit there and you game plan and you you, you think something's going to come open and it doesn't. And it, we went off schedule. And uh, it, it looked like there was a little bit of miscommunication there in terms of when it does go off schedule. Uh, that That's a lot of feel for the, for the players involved. And I uh, never want to put those guys in that, that situation. But... The initial concept we called was gloved. Were you planning on playing both guys at right tackle, or was that an in-game change? That was an in-game. Three years in a row, it's finished at home with with a loss. That's I'm sure you, with your pride in what you do on this field, that has to be a little bit more painful. Yeah, I think anytime uh, you never, especially with what's at stake. Um, you know, obviously 2020 um, had an opportunity to go to the Super Bowl last year, having a home playoff game, and this was a play-in game. So to not get it done in your home stadium with your the support of your fans um, certainly is, is, like I've said it a million times, it's just the overall theme is, is it's disappointing. And i um, disappointed in myself and, and just the fact that we couldn't get it done. Uh, You're not used to being in this position. How will your evaluation process take place this week? How long will this process take you in a moment that you haven't really experienced? Uh, I think that uh, that's a great question, Stacy. in terms of um, 
I want to make sure that we co cover everything with a fine tooth, tooth comb, you know what I mean, and look at every facet of our program and, and what we're doing and what we're asking guys to do. And not only that, but the, the standards and expectations that we have in each area. Um, I, I think that a lot of times when you have success, certain things can get covered up by winning games. And I think everything has pretty much been exposed right now. So uh, we'll take a look at everything uh, in terms of just how we operate. And, you know, it, it just, it's evident that whatever we did this year was not good enough.